Uh, you can retreat those vultures as well over that corner edge, stopping production, setting creation toss even further economically behind. Uh, and it looks like those troops came all the way back to, actually, no, they're going to start attacking that front door, able to take out one tank, a bunker going up to provide a little bit of additional defense. SCP's off the line to try to stop those zealots. The zealots might be able to get that tank, but I don't think they're going to be able to get both tanks. Um, yeah, it should be able to continue with this, but Creation Toss still taking damage uh, at his main. It looks like that front door is, in fact, going to hold. The dropship pulling back. I'm sorry, the shuttle pulling back. The dropship still hanging out there, getting a complete look at tech, lifting off, and still two mines in the way in case that Dragoon decides to wander up. And let's see if Creation Toss ends up losing a, uh, dra an additional Dragoon as a result here. And then let's see if another dropship goes up. And there's two more, uh, so four factories total. Boxer can actually go into the bonus here and put down as many factories as he wants. He's got a pretty strong, well, not as many factories as he wants. He can, he's got a pretty strong economic edge, so uh, he could do a lot of damage here. Creation Toss being isolated for, to two bases. Boxer essentially at three at this stage. There's the, the uh, Arbiter Tribunal to produce Arbiters, and it looks like another dropship being produced that I didn't get a good look at the control tower to see whether it was buzzing or not. It is possible we could see um, some cloaked wraith, though I highly doubt it now. And uh, yeah, it looks like uh, Boxer are going to go in for another attack. Dragoon's in position as well as an observer, although the, he could oh, he could drop right into the main. He's leaving one vulture right there, just kind of scout things off. He does drop a mine. Second vulture and a tank being dropped as well. So those three Dragoons, gonna, at least one of them going to get squashed. The mine's trying to cover right there. It looks like one Dragoon taken out. Uh, the rest of the... and going to flee right here and trying to use a little bit of micro there. Not uh, super successful with it. Losing that tank and the dropship coming back home, although highly damaged here. And now, uh, yeah, a Wraith being produced, interestingly enough. So now a Wraith to go against the shuttle. And uh, more factories going down. And it uh, looks like, yeah, Boxer got a lot of comps at. He already knows that Stargate's coming. He already knows that Arbiter Tribunal is basically on the way. Looks like another drop being loaded up, although it looks like it's just with some supplementary units. And a fourth base being snuck at the 12 o'clock position. This is very dangerous. Looks like some vultures already there on top to... Actually, no, it looks like they're positioning around to flood towards the secondary. And it looks like a lot of these troops are being spotted as they're coming across. And I think Boxer has this timing down, uh, especially with all the economic damage he's done. He should be in a good position with this push because, first of all, taking another base, he's gonna he's trying to sneak that additional base at the 12 o'clock. That's stopping troop production. So Boxer should be able to, just, as long as he continues the troops, uh, the troops flooding out, he should be able to push against this fairly easily with his troop count. And there's that Wraith to push that shuttle back. Needs to be very, very careful with it. Wraith our paper airplanes. Uh, but the Dragoon's being uh, shoved back and mines planted in a way that temple wall's gonna fall. And now there's no way Creation Toss can really defend both locations simultaneously. And uh, honestly, uh, even if that Arbiter Tribunal going up, he's not going to be able to hold that front simply because there's just enough comps at for Boxer to just power through it. And he has that Wraith up above. He could, in theory, push against the Arbiter um, with just that few amount of Dragoons uh, trying to push from that back edge. Um, Boxer need, it might be a little bit vulnerable to a counterattack. Looks like he's got enough factories down to counter with any troops that might be flooding out. That 12 o'clock location is up. It's not going to stand for very long, though. As soon as Boxer decides to push up, he can shell basically that entire area from the position he's taken. Um, probes flooding out. They're heading towards that third location, that third base right there. Oh, man. A turret already up uh, along top in anticipation. That shuttle going to get taken out by that Wraith. And now there's nothing. Uh, it should be fairly rudimentary for Boxer to just push out through this with a series of commsats. It looks like he's actually going to back down uh, and loop around. He's also got a science vessel just in case. He can basically hit from any angle. Creation Toss is completely at his mercy uh, right now, and it looks like he is just going to push in through the front door. Um, just the troop count is, you can see the huge difference in troop count. Those zealots being backed all the way. Uh, a couple Dragoons going to try to come in for a flank, but honestly, I don't see that happening. Uh, and yeah, uh, they, I don't think those tanks even need to siege. It looks like they are going to siege. There is a nice stasis um, across three of those tanks and that... Dr and, and that uh <laughs> losing my wording here, and the science vessel, but uh, it shouldn't be enough. There should be enough comps at, again, for Boxer uh, to just kind of wait that stasis out, destroying that secondary. So once again, Creation Toss going down to three bases with a huge, huge attack force um, just looming on that front and uh, the, the temple breach so he can be attacked essentially from any angle. Let's see if Boxer decides to send some vultures across that top edge once again. There is a shuttle wandering up. Um, that Wraith has been killed since, so, but uh, they're getting, there's not enough troops in there to really pick it off and some marines coming up to, to shove that, that shuttle back as well. 
And now you can see just the very light troop count for Creation Toss. Boxer actually spawning that 12 o'clock expansion. Uh, let's see. Ooh, not able to drag the mines in, getting killed very quickly. Now pushing in. Looks like another drop on that back edge. Uh, and a defense matrix on that front tank. Going to keep it up. Yeah, Boxer has essentially won this game. I think he won it a while ago. But uh, he is going to easily clean this attack force up from this stage. Very, very nice play. Should be, it looks like, ooh, Single Dragoon suiciding in, almost, uh, well, did some damage to the tank, not almost able to take it out. That 12 o'clock expansion is going to go down, and then it's three bases versus two, another defense matrix going off. Uh, turret trying to be produced on that front door. There is a science vessel still somewhere nearby, so it feels a little bit redundant, maybe just to do some damage to make sure that Arbiter can't push forward to get any more stasis off. Boxer completely destroying that 12 o'clock expansion now, or that's, well, 1 o'clock. And now Creation Toss has one more option, which I would say is sneak out. Um, sneak out your complete other direction, try to completely eliminate Boxer by, yeah, going out through the temple wall that direction, which it looks like he's doing, so, wow. Hey, but Boxer right on top of it, already planting mines. There was a turret there, backside to kind of spot that off. This is kind of the, the last all-in, di last-ditch effort here, which is going to fail miserably because I don't think he even has observers to detect the mines. Boxer just laying some mines now backing uh, away. Also took that 9 o'clock location. Let's see. Uh, oh, he might actually go for that attack force on the front door, but honestly, coming at it from a different angle is just going to pin his troops in between uh, two very large attack forces. Um, so, yeah, because you've got... He might take out these tanks, which he probably will. Actually took them out very, very quickly. But then there's the rest of the attack force, which is approaching now just to take the rest of it out and that arbiter is exposed and gets wiped out as well um, and even if it didn't get wiped out there's the science vessels providing defense matrix and beautiful micro <laughs> you can see that tank uh, being defense matrix on the front there's gg from creation toss hope you guys enjoyed it excellent game i love boxer thanks for listening